Hey everyone, this is MinigameDev, and today I'm going to be showing off my very first Godot plugin, Signal Visualizer. Before we get to Signal Visualizer, let's talk Godot signals. Signals are Godot's version of the observer pattern. If we take an Area 2D node as an example, you can see in the right panel here we have all the possible signals listed. We can connect these to any other nodes in the scene, the purpose being to decouple the two implementations. I can do this by right-clicking on the signal I want to listen for, and click the Connect button. This brings up the Signal Connection dialog. It lets you select the node that will be observing the signal and the name of the method that will be invoked when the signal is emitted. I'm going to accept the defaults here, and with the test script.gd file open, you'll see the new method appear. The green icon in the left gutter is an indicator this method is connected to a signal. Alright, now let's talk Signal Visualizer. I built this plugin because I was having trouble managing the signals in my game scenes. Godot doesn't have a central location for signals out of the box, and all signals are displayed on a node-by-node -node basis. As you can imagine, once you have a semi-complicated scene setup, finding what signals are connected to what nodes becomes pretty difficult. Let's start by installing it via the asset library. Search for Signal Visualizer, click the download button, and once it's downloaded, it gives you this dialog window where you can choose the files it installs. There are a few extra files I have in the repository for documentation purposes, so we can uncheck those. All we want is the Signal Visualizer directory under Add-ons. Now that the plugin is installed, you'll see Signal Visualizer under the Add-ons directory in the Project Assets pane. By default, the plugin is disabled. To enable it, go to Project Settings, then the Plugins tab, and you'll see it in the list. Go ahead and enable that, and now we can use the plugin. With it enabled, you should see a new option in the bottom dock. Let's open it, and the first thing you'll see is an empty graph. With the scene you want to see the signals for open in the editor, click the Generate Graph button. And there you go. In the graph, the Area 2D node and the Test Scene node are displayed. You can see we have the Body Entered signal on the Area 2D connected to the On Area 2D Body Entered method on Test Scene. We also have this Open button next to the method on Test Scene. All connected methods have this and it will jump you right to the source code definition. You've seen Signal Visualizer in action now, but this is about as basic as it gets. Let me show you one of my game project scenes and what it looks like. This is one of my projects I built for a game jam last month. It's a 2D platformer and it's still pretty simple, but you can see how many signals I have set up in my scene and the flow of those signals. And this was definitely difficult for me to manage as I was working against the clock. Some of the last minute bugs I was dealing with were unconnected signals. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, it was a quick video, but I hope you find Signal Visualizer helpful, and the GitHub repo link is in the description. If you have any issues or suggestions, please add a comment here, or you can post them on GitHub. If you'd like to see more, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you, and see you in the next one!